Welcome back to your home garage and in today's video we're going to focus on 10 car detailing tips that's going to make your car washing experience that much better. So it doesn't matter what you're washing, anything from sports cars to SUVs, sedans, minivans, all these tips are applicable to each and every one of those. So let's not waste any time and let's get started right now. So the first rule of car detailing is to make sure that you protect yourself. Wearing a good pair of quality gloves and eye protection is an absolute must because when you're dealing with your vehicle and all the various harsh chemicals to remove things like brake dust, um, contaminants, bird droppings that are very acidic, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that none of those contaminants actually sit on your skin. Especially when you're dealing with brake dust and wheel woolies or brushes like this can actually, that can actually spray those contaminants back on you. I sometimes, depending on the application, go as far as wearing protective gear as well. So once again, protective gloves and eye care, an absolute must. Rule number two, Never use a dish soap to wash your vehicle. These are degreasers and they're meant for pots and pans and anything else inside the kitchen. This would actually strip the finish of your vehicle and remove that protective layer or coating. You're gonna to wanna to use something that's far more manufactured or fabricated for, for your paint and your vehicle, such as a car soap or shampoo. Again, I'm not endorsing these particular brands, but you're gonna to wanna to use something that is specifically made for your vehicle, not made for the inside of your house. So your third rule is to always make sure that you use clean microfiber mitts, towels, sponges on your vehicle at all times. You never want to reuse any of your dirty ones. Here's my dirty pot right here. And as you can see, some of these cloths already have a lot of debris or contamination on them. So I never want to use that to reapply all that dirt onto my clean surface. Always make sure that you use a clean set of towels on your vehicle during each and every wash. And I've got a video on how to clean your microfiber towels in case you're interested. I'll link it in the bottom or description of this video. Tip number four, always wash your wheels first. This is gonna be one of the dirtiest areas of your vehicle based on all the road contamination, brake dust, and you're gonna be using harsher chemicals. Of course, you've got your wheel woolies, your brushes, scrubbers, that's gonna get all that debris off of there. And if you've already cleaned your vehicle and then you go to the wheels, all you're doing is you're reapplying all those um, materials, brake dust, minerals, right back onto the body of your paint. So why do it? Save yourself some time and aggravation. Wash the wheels first, then move to the body. Tip number five is a two bucket system. So in your rinse bucket, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've got a grit guard. All right, so what that looks like is this. The dirt flows right through the bottom there and it gets trapped in between these flaps and it doesn't resurface right back into your cleaner or your rinse water. So what you're gonna do is after you wash your vehicle, you're gonna come and you're gonna take your, your wash mat, you're gonna scrub it towards the bottom, get all that debris out of the thick fibers, and then dunk it into your clean soapy water, and then continue washing, washing your vehicle with it. So again, at a minimum, two bucket system, and your rinse bucket needs to have a grit guard. Tip number six, always wash your vehicle in cooler temperatures. It is incredibly bright outside right now. And if I was to put my hand on this, this paint or body is incredibly hot um, to the touch. So as soon as I put water to it, I won't be able to manage the water properly. It'll start to evaporate and leave water stains or watermarks on that paint. It may not be quite as noticeable on this particular color or white, but the reality is it's still gonna be there. If this was a dark or black paint it'd be incredibly hard to hard to manage so the best time to wash your vehicle is again avoid direct sunlight but early morning late afternoon or evening or much cooler temperatures it'd be a much more enjoyable experience for you tip number seven things that are acidic that sit in your paint and bake in the sun will only end up harming the protective layer and coating and your paint itself so try to get that off as soon as possible with a nice wash Tip number eight, when we're gonna clean the glass, a nice little trick is to actually take your microfiber cloth, fold it into quarters, so that actually gives you eight cleaning services and will make your cloth last a lot longer. And also make sure that you, uh, that you remove the tag as well, because that can actually scratch surfaces. Rather than taking your product 
and spraying it on the glass itself where you can get all the overspray onto your onto your vinyl onto your leather and then you have to go back and clean that off spray it on your cloth first and then apply it and wipe it off with the clean side of your microfiber so again always spray your product on the towel itself not on the material that you're trying to clean tip number nine when you're going to clean the windshield with your microfiber cloth folded into four quarters and of course your product sprayed on it. You're gonna turn your hand over, you're gonna be able to reach into one corner and then all the way over on the driver's side as well, you'll be able to reach right into that corner. Everything from the passenger seat, not from the driver's seat. Tip number 10, never take the excess water that you have inside your buckets and just throw it on your vehicle. Even if it's your clean water bucket, just dispose of it properly because there's still small contaminants in there and there's no use in undoing all the hard work that you just did in terms of washing your vehicle by making it dirty again with all the debris inside of your clean bucket. So again, never use that water, just discard it. So hopefully you found the 10 hints and tips that we went through today incredibly beneficial and something that will make your car washing experience that much more enjoyable. Now I've got to wait a little while before I'm able to wash that RAV4 because it is incredibly hot out there. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe, share it with a friend and tune in next time to your home garage.